Hi, uh, Greg Mantel from the Gregory Mantel Show. Nice to meet another Greg. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> So you're out here today for the Art and Soul. Actually, you were doing the PSA. You were in there yeah. singing your ABCs? Yes, I sing my ABCs. I, 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 uh, I hope I, I do well. <laughs> so are you you're musical? No, I don't think I have so much the musical talent. You know, they, they gave me the keys, so I, I just kind of went oh. with that. But, you know, I do have, um, you know, watching my son sing his ABCs is fun. So oh. we always have a good practice, a lot of fun. Okay, so this is this is like training for you then it for home. It is. I got a lot of great coaching in there. Tim was amazing. So I'm going to take these uh, steps, the notes that I've been given, and go home and uh, and help him uh, perfect, or better myself more so than my son. I think he's one step ahead of me. Well, this is such a great project today, supporting the arts. Um, what, you know, what do the arts mean to you? I mean, in your life. Well, I mean, it, I am where I am today because of them. I think you know, I think we all are in the creative abilities that uh, the, that we are given, and uh, from our education, from the schools, and 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 as a parent, you know, and our grandparents, and the things that they uh, they allowed us to go out and have the imagination that we have, and so it's 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 so important, I think, for for children now to be expressive and to share the things and putting them on paper and and the painting and. I mean, there's just so many things and reading books and uh, it it all starts from ground zero. Reading is a lost art these days. Yeah, you know, that's our number one priority for us as a parent, you know, and for me, I mean, I'm also, every night you can't grab enough books. Not You can never grab one too many and that's all he's doing. We're grabbing, even though it's bedtime, we keep grabbing another book, so, you know. You know, I shouldn't say this, but when we, we interview all different kinds yeah. of people and when we have authors on sometimes, I'll get an email from the audience saying, I'm sorry, Greg, but I don't read books. <laughs> <And> that's <laughs> Yeah, I need to work on mine, but I'm reading so much for my child. I feel like I'm learning all over again. So it's a, it's, it's kind of a full circle. It's come full circle now, but it's fun. I, I'm excited to be a part of something that has such a great impact for the generations to come. And so I, I hope that uh, everybody out there has a good listening ear and wants to contribute. Well, so what's the latest with you? I know you've done 90210 and General Hospital. And yeah. What are you up to these days? Well, going from the original 90210 to uh, back to the, it's a, a new, re, uh, a new uh, recrafted, re, new shape, a uh, new cast is, is pretty amazing. So I've just been there for a little bit, and uh, it's been fun, and uh, we got a lot of irons in the fire. So just wanted to cause a little drama for Lori Laughlin and Rob Estes, you know. So you're causing drama, huh? Is that, you're good at that, huh? I'm good at that. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I just finished up seven years at General Hospital. A lot of fun. So um, just uh, f just freelancing, if you will, out there to see what's going to be a new home for me. Well, since this is Oscars week and our Oscars Sunday coming right up, um, anything you're excited about this year? Uh, you know, I have a lot of movies to catch up. I just, my, my wife and I, we just had a new, a new child, so we've been so consumed with getting the baby, we're getting all the stuff ready for the baby, but as far as the Oscars, I'm excited. I think it's a great part of the year, and uh, there's a lot of great films, a lot of which I have not been able to see. <laughs> You'll be uh, running DVDs, right? Yes, I will be. I'm, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, I, I've got a lot of stuff. I haven't seen much of any. I haven't even seen Avatar, Precious, or there's just so many great movies out there that I'm anxious to see. I want to see uh, Jeff Bridges' new movie, you know, and uh, I, everybody, I'm just, it's, it's almost like you're getting the end of the story before reading the book, you know? So that's kind of where I'm, uh, I'm way behind and a lot of catching up to do. Well, you have some good ones to watch. I just watched Precious yesterday, and that's amazing. It's good. So, yeah. Really? And I, Avatar, of course, is just you know such a spectacle. That, it's a very visual experience. So and 3D is the way to watch it, I hear. It is, and I love the fact that everything... Maybe you'll be 3D on TV, too, eventually, because I love the way the movies are going 3D. Yeah, it's, I've, I've heard it's the only way to do it now. You know, it's, I'm glad it's becoming such a popular thing again. Because yeah. they made 3D, you know, and it was never getting, you know... It didn't the, catch on, you know? Yeah. Because well, they're making so much money with it, I think. Yeah. The whole IMAX 3D stuff, I think it's amazing. I'm it's glad fun they, for the audience, because you really feel like fun. you're Yeah. I mean, in Avatar, sometimes I had to, like, turn away, because I have a thing with heights, and I felt like I was going to get no go way. over the edge. So. Wow. That's like, I feel like I'll be back, yeah, like at Disney World again, like that, that, that those, those creative things they have, the flying and everything, you ever think, imagination, oh. they, yeah. they put you on a little kite and you fly across the land like a, a little uh, a glider. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So there a while, but I remember some of the stuff there. Yeah, yeah well, you know. I got a kid died. With the kids, you'll be spending a lot of time at Disneyland. <laughs> no movies, but a lot of Disneyland. That's well, ABC thing, former, you know, so it's been fun. But no, I'm excited. I, uh, I hope it's going to be a good weekend and everybody has a lot of fun. Well, enjoy yourself. 